In the last step, we looked at different spring modules. All the spring modules have the same release version as the spring framework. So they are almost like they are part of the spring framework. There are other things spring does other than the spring framework and its modules. These are called spring projects. These spring projects provide solutions for different problems faced by enterprise applications. In this video, let's look at a few of them. Let's start with Spring Boot. Spring Boot is one of the most popular frameworks to develop microservices today. Within a few years, Spring Boot has become the most popular framework used for developing microservices. Spring Boot makes it very, very easy to develop applications quickly. With features like startup projects, auto configuration, actuator, Spring Boot makes developing applications, especially microservices, a cakewalk. The other important Spring Boot Spring project is Spring Cloud. We know that the world is moving towards the cloud, right? Everybody wants to deploy their applications in the cloud. And therefore, it's not sufficient if we develop good applications. We have to develop cloud native applications. We would want to be able to dynamically configure applications. We would be able to dynamically connect them. We would be able to we would want to be able to dynamically deploy applications. Cloud native applications need a lot of different features. So if you have a microservice which is developed using Spring Boot, you can use Spring Cloud to cloud enable the microservice. Spring Data provides a consistent data access. If I go a few years back, there was only one kind of databases that we typically connect to. We would connect to a proper SQL database. Today, there are abundant of NoSQL databases. We have a mix of data sources. So we have no, I mean, we have a wide variety of NoSQL databases. We have SQL databases as well. How do you ensure that the way I'm accessing data from all this stuff is remaining consistent? That's what the Spring Data aims to solve. Spring integration, on the other hand, addresses problems with application integration. There is something called Enterprise Application Integration Patterns. It's a very famous book. Spring Integration implements the patterns which are recommended in there. Spring Integration helps us in connecting enterprise applications very, very easily. Not all processing is done online. Some of the processing is also done in batch applications. Batch applications have their own requirements. Like for example, I would want to be able to restart a bad job from where it failed. Or I would want to be able to track down exactly what's happening in a batch in much, much more minute detail. Spring Batch provides those kinds of features. It enables developing batch applications very easily. Security is one of the important parts of developing applications. You'd want your applications to be secure, whether you are developing a web application, whether you are developing a REST service, or anything that you develop, you'd want to protect it. So Spring Security provides solutions for securing your applications, whether it's a web application, uh, whether it's a REST service. Spring has support for multiple security, or Spring Security has support for multiple security options like basic authentication, OAuth authentication, OAuth 2, for example. Spring HateOS enables you to develop HateOS compatible services. In REST, it's not sufficient if you just return the data. You'd also want to return the related links that would help the consumer to understand where to go from here. Spring HateOS would help you to do that very easily. What we are looking at are seven of the Spring projects. They are just touching the tip of the iceberg. There are a lot of other Spring projects like Spring Web Services, Spring Session, Spring Social, Spring Mobile, and Spring Android, which are solving problems in various different spaces. The idea behind this video was just to introduce you to the wide variety of projects in which Spring is involved with. Spring has not really restricted itself to just the Spring framework and got involved in a lot of wide variety of projects. All the stuff you are learning as part of this Spring course would also be useful when you are developing on any of these Spring projects. If any of the projects seem interesting to you, I would really love if you can go ahead and explore it and find things about it. Until the next step, bye-bye.